Let's be honest, how many times have you passed by a flight attendant and you have said with admiration, oh my god, they look so spotless and so gorgeous. Stay with me, I am going to share with you what does image in uniform means for a flight attendant? Hello travel lovers! For those of you who don't know me yet, my name is Anna Maria, a former flight attendant with a decade of flying experience. I've created this YouTube channel to help people like you all over the world in achieving your dreams and goals and becoming a flight attendant. On today's episode, I am going to share with you what does image in uniform means for a flight attendant. It's not a secret that cabin crew image in uniform are essential to airlines since they are a significant part of the brand. As a flight attendant, everything you do while you're wearing the company uniform must be appropriate. Whatever the cabin crew are wearing represents the company values and they are the brand ambassadors. The uniform is often attractive and the desired part of the cabin crew role. There are specific rules that the cabin crew must follow while wearing the company uniform, which are considered appropriate behavior. For airline guidelines, visible tattoos aren't allowed while wearing the flight attendant's uniform. In fact, you can't even cover them by makeup, with jewelry, or with a bandage. The policy prohibits tattoos in areas visible while wearing the cabin crew uniform, such as your face, your ears, your neck, your wrists, your hands and your legs. Uniforms must be clean, neat, pressed and in good repair. Definitely not too tight or too short. A flight attendant must follow the specific care instructions included on the label inside each garment. While wearing the uniform, a flight attendant has a lot of rules to follow. Essential undergarments is one of them. It should be a specific color such as skin tone or plain white. Never an appropriate colors or undergarments with flowers. An air hostess is not allowed to wear any jewelry she pleases. In fact, the jewelry that she's wearing must fall within the airline guideline. While wearing the company uniform, a flight attendant must maintain a good personal hygiene, but not limited, all right? You should have showered, use the odorant, wash your hair, no facial hair, your eyebrows should be done, and your nails should be cut at a certain length with an appropriate color. You are probably asking yourself how a massive airline can control how people present themselves to work. Well, the answer is pretty simple. There are grooming checks where you are observed on how you present yourself for duty. If you're not compliant, you are going to be asked to fix it. And if it cannot be fixed, you are going to be offloaded, unfortunately, and someone else will replace you. When in uniform in public, you must have an appropriate posture and wear the uniform as per the permitted guidelines. What do I mean by that? For instance, a lady should keep her handbag on her shoulder. Or if it's too hot outside, you can remove your jacket, fold it nicely and place it on your arm. Can a flight attendant smoke? Yes, they can. But while in uniform, you are not allowed to smoke. Once you are up in the air, you must know the rules by heart when it comes to image in uniform. There are certain things you cannot do. And some airlines are more permissive while others not so much. And why should they be? At the end of the day, you do represent their brand and they don't want to ruin their image. Even when not wearing the uniform, there are specific rules on how to behave when you travel on a staff ticket. If something is due to happen off station, you might even get reported and get called to your manager office because you did ruin the company image. For any questions you might have regarding the lifestyle of a flight attendant or how to become a flight attendant, I've created specially for you a monthly live event on my Facebook page. In order for you to be able to participate at my live event, make sure you do follow me so you don't miss the notification. I thank you so much for watching and if you did find this information useful, do let me know in the comments down below, subscribe to my YouTube channel and why not like it. Until next time we meet, let your wings spread and fly as high. Sky is your limit and who knows, I'll meet you up in the sky.